Extra Minutes. John of God is what's known as a, a spiritual medium. Uh, his real name is actually John Faria. He's a Brazilian man in his early 70s. Thousands of people flocked to him from around the world and, and many thousands from Brazil as well. They go to John of God believing that he has healing powers. And certainly John of God boasts that he does have healing powers, that he can cure all sorts of illnesses and pain. So we were invited to his compound, but when we got there, it was just a bizarre couple of days. It was an open book as far as we were told to see his work, to talk to him, to understand who this man was and, and what the hell he got up to in the compound. But it was just a crazy couple of days. Would you like to come into here, please? Thank you. John came out, he sat down for the interview. Um, we asked some questions about how the spirit possesses him, um, some background to him, and then I wanted to know whether or not um, he was performing miracles or was he actually all about the money? There is a big business around your spirit here. Is this more about money than it is miracles? These are questions that were in the list, were uh, Do you think they're fair to ask? I don't think that we're going to go into. Yes. Um, it was at this point, Mr. Freer and his minders decided he didn't want to answer my questions. Speaking in Portuguese, his staff decided he should leave. We're trying to describe fully and understand fully what goes on here. These are natural questions a journalist would ask. John of God, could we ask you a few more questions? Please? No. I mean, these are no. Just to properly understand exactly who you are. So one of the things that many people go to him for is what's known as spiritual surgery. Now, John Fariad, John of God, is not a surgeon, he's not a trained doctor. Yet, he's presented with a tray of medical instruments, uh, scalpels and all sorts of scissors. He takes a scalpel and scrapes eyes, he sticks knives and scalpels of some sort down the back of people's throats, he shoves scissors down people's nose and he claims that he's getting to tumours, he claims that he's getting to the root of people's illness, he claims that he's removing what is making people ill or sick. None of it is done with an anaesthetic uh, and you don't even know whether the equipment that John got is using uh, is, is sterile at all. What he's practicing is extremely dangerous and that's according to our doctor um, who witnessed it all. Yeah, I mean it's, it's horrendous to watch uh, and there's this urge that you feel like you need to get up and take that scalpel from his hand and say, you, you know, this is, this is criminal, this is wrong. Just modern medical world could not condone this behaviour in any way whatsoever. I can understand why people search for spirituality. I can understand people's faith. I understand how powerful hope is. What I cannot tolerate is someone like John Faria taking advantage of people who only have hope left. I would say, personally, do not go and see him. It will be a waste of money. You will walk out of there having spent hundreds of dollars and be none the better for it. Please think twice before you go. I do not want Australians being taken advantage of by John Faria, by John of God or any of the, the circus around him.